Hello and welcome to this video guide to migrate Cacti's monitoring to Pandora FMS in a simple and easy way. At this entry from Pandora's library, you can download everything you need for this process. Here you can get a detailed documentation for this, and here the files needed. These files must be downloaded and uncompressed in an installed Pandora server. Ours was installed using Pandora CentOS 7 based ISO. As you can see, we have three files, the configuration file, the migration script itself, and a tool we'll need to migrate Cacti's history data. Before we start, it's worth to mention that due to the way Cacti works, we'll only get to migrate the checks that use getSNMPData and getSNMPDataIndex methods. The rest of them are unique to Cacti and will not be migrated. Now let's take a look at the configuration file parameters. First section here contains some information regarding Cacti database. Its database name, listener and IP, port, user and password. We must fill this out so Pandora server can connect to it. Then we can check easily with MySQL command, specifying IP, user, password and database. Below these fields, we'll find a parameter to set Cacti's IP. We'll get to that shortly. And others regarding Cacti's web interface URL and the relative path to RRD files from there. That path has to be reachable from Pandora, so let's make sure of it using the URL. Code 200 means connection was successful. If there was no web access, we would need to transfer Cacti's RRD files to a folder in Pandora and specify its path in this parameter here. In this case, we do have web access, so there's no need for it. We'll keep it commented out. The last things we need to set are the path for the tool RRD to CCV and the block size for data in session in Pandora. Now we only need to check if it runs correctly on the terminal. This configuration should be enough to run the script, though we might get this error. If that happens, simply installing the Perl module should fix it. Once installed, we can run the migration script. A summary of the amount of agents and modules migrated will be shown when it finishes. So let's see the end result. While logged in into Pandora console, we'll find the former Cacti's agents by looking for Cacti in the search box, since the migrated agents are created with this line in the description field. You'll see that Cacti description and hostname fields are used as agent name and IP address in Pandora. Since in this case the device hostname was 127.0.0.1, its IP has been replaced for the one we set earlier at the configuration file. This change is made to maintain consistency between migrated and new data. Let's focus now on the modules that have been created for the agent. We'll find the former Cacti's data source name as the module's name in Pandora. As for the module's description, Pandora uses the name of the graph representing this data from Cacti. Let's check these two modules here. It's worth noting that, since each graph from Cacti can hold several variables, Pandora will create an independent module for each of them. Besides, when creating SNMP interface modules, such as this one, module's name is built as the interface name followed by the metric being monitored. 
This nomenclature is widely used in Pandora, such as in network maps. When comparing Cacti's and Pandora's graphs for a single metric, we'll see they're identical, then we'll know that the migration has been successful. Graphs from Pandora allow you to zoom in on the section we wish to look into to get a higher level of detail. We'll be able to choose different time ranges for the graph as well. You can get a graph with real-time data using this feature. And check the data history too. And that's all. We hope you found this video useful, and it helps you to make good use of Pandora's features in your freshly migrated environment. Goodbye.